Hello and welcome to Access 2007 video tutorial series by Vision Tech for you. In this particular tutorial, we are going to see how to collect data for Access 2007 database by using Outlook. For this exercise, we'll use one uh, sample database. This database contains three tables, the assets, suppliers, and support. Let's have a look on suppliers table. It got as uh, some data regarding the supply company and uh, categories, etc. So if you want to uh, populate this table with more records uh, and you want to send the form uh, to your colleagues or uh, some, somebody to fill it off your, the data and send it back to you that will integrate with this um, database, we can do that uh, by using Access 2007 uh, interface and this is a new feature uh, in this version of uh, Microsoft uh, Access. So we will go to the external data tab in the ribbon and click on create email. You can read the instructions over here and click uh, next. It gives you two options uh, for the HTML form and Microsoft Office Info Fed form if uh, Office Info Fed is installed but we will go with the default option HTML form here. Click on next. You can collect uh, new information. Uh, the recipients uh, of your email, they will see a blank form and they can populate um, the data and send back to you. Or uh, we can choose for the updating the existing information. Uh, we will go with the default one, collect new information only. Click on next. So this is giving us um, all the fields available and the suppliers table of our database. Uh, for the sake of um, simplicity of this exercise, we will choose a uh, few of the, these fields like supply company and maybe city and uh, country and also comments. We'll click on next. Here the replies will be stored in a folder that is called access data collection replies. And uh, this folder, if uh, the, for the first time, it is not must not be existing on your uh, Outlook inbox uh, uh, folder, uh, and uh, the access will create a folder named by this. And we can opt for this automatically process replies and add data to suppliers. If we check this box, then whenever you get the reply from a recipient, uh, in that form is filled out and uh, your database is open, it will do an automatic um, synchronization. And we will see both these options, uh, but first we will go with the default one without checking this and then click on next. Uh, here it will give you an option to enter the email address in the Microsoft Office Outlook or if um, you already have the email addresses stored in your uh, database like uh, for example if you have a contact uh, table over here in your access database and you have already have the email addresses uh, that can be filled up but we'll choose the default one and click next this is the review of your email message the subject and the introduction you can customize it to by adding some some of your messages here but it will go with the default and click next so we are going to create the email message with the supplier uh, forms. You can always check uh, the status of your email uh, message by clicking on this uh, tab on your uh, access database. We will see in a minute, but first we create the email message. Create. So th create. So this is will open up your uh, Outlook and asking for uh, to enter the email address we will click one of the email address and we before we send it maybe we can just check it to what is in the form uh, this is the suppliers table form and uh, we have added only few of their fields for the suppliers table and the company name uh, city country and comments and as you can see uh, there's some instructions for this like the recipient of your email uh, they're supposed to know what uh, they're going to do with this form, like what type of data field they can put it um, inside, and it's giving us a little note as well here. 
uh, type only in the areas uh, designated for data entry, your reply will be automatically processed if we check that option. Uh, so it is important that the form or the message is not altered in any other way. So they need to just fill up this blank field in the form and hit the send button. So when a view receive uh, the email message from them, uh, I'll show you how it is going to look. Uh, I'm going to cancel um, this. I'll open the Outlook inbox here. So as you can see, um, let me uh, move this one. So as you can see, uh, they created uh, access uh, data collection folder inside your inbox folder and you received a message for that. And the data collection status is message unprocessed. That if you go to your Microsoft Access database and you click on this manage replies, you can see all your messages you have sent before in this folder and you can you have the options to delete the email message or resend the message and or change the message options too. So when you receive the message uh, from your recipient uh, with a filled form, you can open this access data collection replies uh, folder and you choose the email message. Uh, open up the message and here is an option this is export to access before you can uh, do that you will have a check on the form how it is filled up uh, so suppliers company is filled up with uh, Dell and some information here these are the answers uh, given provided by, by your recipient of uh, the, your email so we can click on this export to access button and that will give you this message box and will show you what it's going to do. It says the following data will be added to other access database and it's saying the from, like from field from where it is coming from and uh, which form name and the date and what the data is. So the data is, uh, is in this four fields over here. When you hit the OK button, it says the export data to Microsoft Access uh, box has been opened and it says data successfully exported to the database. Hit it OK. We'll check this one out. We'll open this. Um, so we'll just close that first so that it will refresh and then you open the supplies table. You'll see a new record here has been added for us. That's the supply company Dell with uh, only a few informations there. So this is the way where we can um, control our uh, database integration. Hope you have enjoyed this uh, video tutorial and um, thank you very much.